Hello everyone, my name is John Doe, right here in Tokyo, Japan. Currently I'm in Ginza today. This is the um, extremely bourgeois area of, of Tokyo, but sometimes you gotta come down here to take care of some business. But let's deal with the issue at hand. Now, the UN's uh, Scientific Committee on the uh, Effects of Atomic Radiation has released a report that says that workers who have worked at Fukushima um, have been exposed to radiation up to 20% higher than reported by TEPCO and the government. Now, this is something that we've all known to be true. We've had plenty of things come out. We've had subcontractors uh, forcing workers to cover their gaga counters, their lead plating. We've had TEPCO sending workers around the storage contaminated water with gaga counters that only go up to 200 millisieverts per hour. And we've had many examples of this time and time again. So it should not come as a surprise to us, but the thing we should look at here is why. Why? Why the cover-up? Now, the data that the UN committee was able to collect came from TEPCO, the Japanese government, and other sources. And it came out to say that they didn't even check for certain types of radiation. We're talking about iodine there. Now, of these 25,000 workers, of all of them that were the higher dose, it would put every one of them eligible for full compensation and health care to be paid by TEPCO. Now, there we go, guys, okay? That brings up something very key. When we look at, when we look at why all these subcontractors, TEPCO, and the government itself... I've been covering this up of improper radiation exposure numbers well. Clearly it all comes down to some money and not wanting to pay these workers what they deserve. These workers are going to need extensive health coverage well into the future. These workers are going to have health problems that are going to be horrendous and won't go away. And they deserve the legal compensation coming to them. And they deserve TEPCO to pay all of the health care that would come with it. But TEPCO is only legally required to do that when they when these workers go over a certain exposure level of radiation. So you see here, all this time we've watched cover-ups, efforts made to make instruments impossible to collect the right information on exposure limits. If I had TEPCO again again admit that with the Fukushima residents they have not been collecting data properly. It all comes down to money and greed here. The capitalist class, you see, don't want to pay workers for the sacrifice they're making. They don't want to give a damn about people who are basically Saving their own ass here in Japan. You got these workers going to Fukushima, going to sacrifice their entire life, okay? These men and women are going to die, all right? They're not going to have a happy existence after doing this type of work. And for TEPCO and the Japanese government to sit there and to on purpose lie and cover up data just to prevent some money being paid to people who've earned it and deserve it? I don't really need to say it, but I think it's worth saying. What a gang of greedy, vile, disgusting, bourgeois, capitalist fucks these people are. What they're doing to these workers, what they're putting them through, and what they're putting every effort into not giving. So remember that, you know, in the future as more and more things come out about TEPCO and, and the um, workers at Fukushima, when you see things like this, 
radiation numbers being covered up. Workers being paid like 800, 800 yen an hour, not getting the proper support or even eligible for benefits. You know why. To buy some money, man. They don't want to pay for the hell they've created. And the hell that all those workers are willingly putting, them, putting themselves through. So remember that. Until next time, this is me, John Dole, here in Tokyo. Checking out.